State formation really means a number of different things and it can be a little bit confusing, I think, uh, to puzzle out what historians mean by it. Uh, sometimes we mean uh, that uh, the uh, government grew, that the uh, uh, authorities uh, at the center, uh, at the top, uh, gained more and more power uh, and influence over the public. Uh, we mean that uh, some of the things that people had done for themselves as individuals or as families, some of the things that had been done by church groups or voluntary associations were now being taken over by the state. Uh, the state, some people would say, was intruding into people's lives uh, increasingly over the course of the 19th century and we could say on to, into the 20th century too. But state formation can also mean a kind of cultural revolution that took place in the 19th century, and that's what some historians mean by it. Uh, that is to say, um, people came to see the state and its authority as natural in a way that they hadn't before. Uh, they came to uh, accept the values that authorities at the top of society and in official circles um, had and uh, expected uh, people to follow. Uh, so uh, over the course of the 19th century, people became uh, uh, used to the idea that the state provided important leadership in terms of ideas, in terms of cultural values, in terms of their behavior. Uh, they were expected to uh, uh, obey the law, of course, and it became uh, natural to obey the law. Uh, the laws didn't seem foreign and imposed, they seemed what we would expect and what we come to uh, live with on an everyday basis, and that hadn't always been the case.